Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're playing the Invincible. I actually don't know too much about this game. Uh, I know we play an astro biologist. We and our crew are investigating a unknown planet, and our crew goes missing, and we are looking for them. And shit happens. <laughs> as about as much as I know, it looks visually looks fucking sexy. Uh, looking forward to playing it. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, and let's dive straight in. The Dragonfly. A small research unit of the in interplanetary commonwealth with a crew of six travels the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there is one task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, Astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely valuable mineral himself. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The Astrogator's accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. Oh, I can move. Anybody? Uh, I report, I report a problem. Is anyone there? Uh, Cobble? Marit? Uh, hey, this is Yasna. I was just We're British. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. Oh. I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? It doesn't there? look like it. How the fuck did we end up here? It's probably nothing serious. Oh wow. No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. Alright. Contact your crew. <laughs> Hopefully we're not the last one. Alive. Oh, oh. Base. I heard you for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter it may still be working. Where, Missus? That's a posh bag. Damn it. No beacon. beacon. Where is it? Uh, what's in the solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Okay. I'm gonna say I have no idea how much that is. Search for the mission log. Ooh, what's that? Like I thought, nothing. <laughs> I'm on my own. The oh, good. Can't be detected either. Right. Oh. Would that be it? Oh, let's see if the past notes. me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. How does she not remember? 
We've closed the reset cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Ah, uh, remembering. Back out a side effect of metabolic depression. That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. Maybe. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one. Yes. Just me. Took a different route. On her own? Is that usual? Leading to. What priority get to the camp? Dog. Rope. Rocco. Right. I was heading straight to the camp. Must be somewhere near. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp. Yes. I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like. I need to stop doing this. An object I called Needle. Ah, that's the Croco. That's the dog. Resembles the eye of a needle. Yes. Okay. The first one. I need one more. I'm looking dog. for something that resembles a dog. Yes. Bingo! I found the dog. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit Ooh. the road. Okay. We're gonna make our way from here up to here. Right. Everything looks so fucking nice. Huh. I think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? What can better not be? Gotta put the uh Okay. Gotta wiggle our way in that general direction. More dropped equipment. I must have hit the ground pretty hard. What is it? Metal detector. Yeah. Nice. Dr. Gorski, you won't be pleased. More equipment to repair. Well, the detector's dead. Uh, I'm taking it. Guess I shouldn't just leave it like this, broken or not. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I have 
something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Oh, okay. Warm. Oh, getting warmer. Ah. Got you. There it be. I found it. Find a way Look to for camp. me on your trackers. Can I get in it? Oh, I can. I am well impressed. It looks so fucking nice. I. Okay. I'm up here. Moving on. Okay, that's a no. Falling down any chasms. Oh. Okay, so we have to go this way. Jesus. I found a way out of the valley. Leading more or less towards the camp. Can we get that way? <laughs> well, she seems to think so. Well, I can't go this oh. way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll go the way I was going. Up there and around, I guess. It runs really well, actually. I'm quite impressed. I remember trying Starfield and I just... It runs like utter arse. And I pretty much took everything down as low as I could and it still doesn't run on my PC. I didn't really have to do anything with this, everything's on quite high and it runs perfectly well. I'm very happy. that hmm. if this area is volcanically active ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora but it's all just too idyllic there's it looks no gorgeous. dust in the air the sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me perhaps not highly fertile but not entirely barren She's a smart woman. <laughs> no idea what fucking laterite is. And 
continue marching towards the camp. I assume I'm going the right way then. That way through there. Now can he see? Oh, there's a crack. in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me that's just anybody's there I don't think we I'm going just to need to get down from here I think we need to go around that way but let me just go edge vertical drop I can't get down this way I could okay. attach a rope though, but uh, I don't have a rope. I for guess for some reason I don't have one with me. Here the ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. Uh, I'm gonna look for another way. On second thoughts, I'm gonna go around this way. Maybe not. I don't want to break me fucking legs. Now is an injury. Yes, agreed. That's the very last thing we need. Got to be smart. Gentle slope. Great. A route that won't break my neck. <laughs> yes, that's what we like. I hope. Off you pop. I'm not going to get better than this. Yes. Okay. Piece of piss. I'm at the bottom. <coughs> it looks better from here. I'll be with you soon. That's an understatement. Uh, Maybe I should wait. Closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But well, we're really fucked up. I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Possibly. So close, yet 
my condition. Every step is a strain. Oh, I don't want to whine, but if you come here, it will be so much easier for me. I don't think there's anyone there, though. And that looks rather fucking steep. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Just a little bit further, and we're there. Don't not be on top of this fucking mountain. All my legs are heavy. is not inviting. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Hey, don't look down. It's not that scary. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. R three O three. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right looks high. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. Hello. Look at that! How's the answer? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Looking at it like I know what I'm looking at. 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. Yeah. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. The word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Ooh, got a slideshow. The sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. I assure you that Regis 3 is not without worth. Uh, should I be able to With see something? Because I can't see shit. Data, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Mm. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? 
The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. No. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost... She a does not give a shit. <laughs> ...neither better nor worse than us. What? I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cobra. All right, but where do we stand in all this? Together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff. Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <sighs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Koval. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation. Oh, gas. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Oh, boy. Feeling stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis 3. If any. Well then how did I end up... Not on the f fucking ship? How did I end up where I am? Well, if I was ordered to stay... What the hell am I doing here? Exactly. Exactly what I just said. And away to the camp. This way then, I guess. Thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. Yes, but they could be dead. Don't get your hopes up. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? The bloody robot. Oh, it's just an Androbot. Oh. Andropot. Oi. Stop. Not fucking listening. Stop. Oh, what the? Ah, <sighs> oh, Dr. Gorski. Have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Oh, uh, well. Never mind. Oh, the person in there. Please, look at me. 
A report that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. Okay. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing one, two, three. Ah, copy, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Uh, maybe gas poisoning. Any idea what's wrong with him? I, give me a minute. Until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders, and there were no visible injuries. So uh, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. I guess so. Methane poisoning oh. causes <laughs> symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare oh the infirmary. But first things first, the lander. Oh, God. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Krauter. Okay, what should I do? Please look for the mission log. Should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Oh, bloody hell, anything else? I shouldn't even be here. Well, Hello? he's all right for the time being. He's not going anywhere. Anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. Ah. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Initial analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, uh, beryl, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory, a giant nickel iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis 3, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape or structure contradicts it. Krauter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. We followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Krauter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Okay. 
checked. I'm leaving the tent. Anything else? It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crow just. Alright. Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. I'm not. What about the rest of the crew? You're going to make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Ah. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Right. <laughs> no luck. They're not in here. Right here. Not here either. Yeah. The time lucky. Mm. Is that what I want? I have I no have idea. The extra relay. Oh, Excellent. yeah. I knew that. <laughs> the signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Oh, there. I'll do. Ooh, uh, look at that. Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yeah. Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. The positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Wake up! Snap out of it! <gasps> it worked! He moved! Finally! Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you tin bastard. Ah. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Full of a tin bastard. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. All right. Fucking hell. Aussie bitch. Oh, these two. Yes, now focus. What now? 
fucking clue. Oh, I see. You went that way. Right. Right, I see it. Way. I'm not going to go wandering. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? What? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes. Oh. It's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. Huh. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Crowter. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall. It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? Um. Oh. Twins, bones. Titan, not Titan. Uh, bones. <clears throat> These rocks are white as bones. Bones, then. Writing that down. Me too. Bones. One more thing, Astrogator. The bones are, well, literally almost white. Unlike the environment around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. You're welcome. Right track. Ooh, a flag. Oh, damn. I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Hmm, right. What? Hmm. Anything interesting? Wait, give me a minute! I'm not fucking looking. Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I didn't fucking actually see. Uh, I guess not. Move. Oh, there's no time. What? Oh. 
I don't know where I'm going to. Entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrum. It's. Someone, I'm following the signal. Ooh. Music change. Huh. It, there's something on the ground. Get down there. No. What is it? It's a journal. Who's geological cross section? We must focus on both water chemistry testing and geological drilling. Measurements? Here's a Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Layers of sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance, not geological, not planetary. Millions of years old at least. Uh... Hello, what's this? Cosmos, Cos, Cosmos Solidary Alliance, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters Space Division Solar System. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition Obelisk 3 uh, as an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove towards your readiness to take the next step in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. Uh. Well. I think I know where I can find her. Oh, I hope she's still alive. <sighs> the signal's coming from a castle of backpack. Yes. Yeah, you're not fucking kidding. I'm close, but I can't see her. Oh my god. She's here. I found her. What happened? Uh, Wake up. Wake up. Is she alive? Do you hear me? Oh shit. Dr. Marit? No. Just shut up a minute. What's I need going to. On? One. Oh Jesus. Two. Oh my god! One, two. Don't do this to me, Matt. Don't. Please. Breathe. I don't. Lift up, Merritt. One more. Thank you. Doctor. Yes, sir. No. That's enough. Okay. Dead. Oh, bloody hell. Astrogator? She's... She's a goner. She's... I know. Doctor. Yes, sir. 
We have to find the others. Please I'll just leave me. her there. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Yeah. Uh no. <laughs> that sucks ass, doesn't it? Next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think Colvin? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor, alive. I'm sure about that. See a um someone's here. Where's that going around here? like no sign of life at all. Like really bizarre. Uh, oh, no. What? Yes, We've lost another one. Yes, no. He's Cobble. He's don't do this to me. He's also oh. You're alive. Did you hear that, sir? Cobble's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his Die. current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. <sighs> Cobble? Cobble? His eyes oh. are so empty. Just like Crowter's. Cobble! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowther's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. What? Yasna. Yeah, I'm listening. Go on, then. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. Oh, Christ, right. <laughs> oh. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? There's life on this no, planet it's after a... all. Yasna would be Nothing so happy. About Dr. Gorski. them surprisingly accurate structures every step great let's get cobbled to the evacuation area can you carry him doctor <laughs> what will be pretty hard in 1g but the gravity here should make things a tad easier are you shitting me right mate you're gonna have to help me and use your fucking legs are you shitting me i'm not carrying a full-grown man you got him fucking hell No, she must fucking lift, that's all I can say. The Agrobot with Crowder is also on its way to the site. We'll need shortly. The land is already descending. Drop me, mate. Shush, baby, shush. Did he react? Not at all. I don't get it. What could have led to all this? Shush. Crowther, our dear Merritt, now Cobble, an unprecedented degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related to that. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Your talking isn't helping me at this minute in time. I'm going to pass out. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest for some reason. 
Uh... It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Oh jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to fucking sit down. See you up there. Oh. Only Gorski's left. Who might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. That's not the point! We also lose Gorski. I've made up my mind, Mr. Her, her family will want her fucking body. I'm not gonna leave her fucking body in a fucking strange planet. Oh my god, have I got a fucking million miles to walk? Might regret this decision. Uh, no, we've decided. You better be fucking lighter than the other chap. If you're wondering, sir, it all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Yes, sir. Come in. How are you feeling? How do you Walking think, great. sir? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me. But I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. Of course I am! Fucking fuck off! Ready? I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. I've served with Dr. Marit for over two decades. You're made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. Mm. I did. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history oh of the God. Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. Uh... I'm taking a bit your word, astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. Oh, it's very sad. <sighs> Nearly there. Not easy carrying fucking body. <sighs> fucking robot doing nout. You could lift a finger, you know. Probably do this better than I can. Fucking useless metal twat. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Okay, uh...
Wait, don't we know, already know we, we didn't go this way? Uh, uh, maybe not. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? <clears throat> huh, I've got Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what? Oh, uh... Uh, Dr. Gorski hardly ever parted with it. With what? You were correct, oh. sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides... You'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. What the fuck? A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Has passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. All right. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Uh. Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout. Astrid yeah, Peter. don't fucking shout at me, Just pal. You know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. in a matter of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us
I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Uh... Well, I don't know. Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. The all e Luna. I don't like either of those names. Um Please enter Ball E. B A L L dash E. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Huh. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures. Such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? Um, I'm at a lock. He followed the branch to the right. Oops. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. The probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Bully. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. Oh, now I'm going to apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. Mm. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object... No. <laughs> the structures branch underground, check the uh, right branch. Uh, vertical exhibit, that's that. Water tank. Okay. As such, should be easy to locate. What caught the doctor's attention? Uh, I don't fucking Looks know. Looks sort of like scaffolding set up underground. Inside the ground, actually. Uh, an unusual structure shape. Definitely. Do you think someone actually built it? That's a no. far-fetched theory, but it seems so. Ah, there's the uh, 
water. Before you are, sir, there's little to say about it. All right. So how many are left? Uh, two points. Or at least that's what he told Kovel. What he did next? It's hard to assess. Well, the battery and the detector last for only a few hours. So he couldn't have gone much further. The fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive. On top of which he found surface structures. Uh, sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. What? Make sure you're still there. evidence that he was going this way. Ah, good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely oh. uphill. I think I'll catch up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. Well, that wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. Oh, I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. What is this? Oh shit. Fucking lava, that's what it is. The structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I mean, Must do. I'm more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end, if it ends at all. Oh, I'm interested. All of all this science shit. We're going to be fucking knackered. <sighs> Status? Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. It's certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. You better do. 
Hi, Bully. Mm, bloody hell, look at that lot. Ah, I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Look, I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Kovel noted down the parameters. Azimuth 350. Distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Got it. Ah. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... But when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. Right. The calculations will only take a moment. I guess I'm going this way. Ah. Hi, Bully. Lead the way. After oh, you. Hey. Easy there. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. He could not fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. I want it for Maybe myself. Even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. You know, you like to crack a joke, you know. Before they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man, often faulty. I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes mm. over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such oh, mistakes uh. are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us? Proteinaceous creatures developing so quickly, sir. No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Uh... We'll be fine at first. We'll feel more powerful than ever. And they, by becoming more human-like, will blend into our society. The boundaries will disappear. They will be granted their rights and given a voice. They will live on par with humans. You know what, Doctor? That sounds like some blasted science fiction. Wow, well, well, you see. One which I definitely don't want to live. Shh, Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. All right. Silence. 
We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. We're oh, dead. These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. Oh. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush like layer. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Uh, defense, energy... Oh, I don't know! Uh... Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, sir. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. I'm gonna shut up a minute. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Yes. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue. I'm going to the doctor. Uh, the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Um. There's bushes in me way. I'm not sure we should be touching them. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Mm, well, we know it doesn't. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, oh, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly Sir, off. something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. Ooh, what the hell in happened in here? And how is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. 
Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. If it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us. But I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. I it's agree. It's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. <laughs> Where does this certainty come from, Astrogator? HQ can send us as many directives as they please, justified or not. I won't let that happen. We have the Imprimis Homini law to refer to. The Commonwealth cannot achieve its goals at the expense of the people. At the expense of my crew. But... Isn't that exactly what's happening? The situation is bad, Astrogator. Though it wasn't much better at the beginning of the mission. Whoever sent us here didn't care about our safety at all. Enough! Please don't put me in an even more difficult position. Rejecting a new mission and questioning the validity of the current one are two different issues. And you're one step away from disciplinary action, Doctor. Back off! Copy that. Over and out. You're probably not it. It certainly is. Fucking gorgeous. I really like the graphics. Huh. They stopped for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. No. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. What is the point? The safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Regis 3 is an alien planet, Astrogator. Extinct or not, we shouldn't act like we own the place. Yes, agreed. Because of this kind of attitude, the Anthropocene will become the fate of every planet. Agreed. Aren't you exaggerating, Doctor? No. You probably sound like a simple soldier, but I believe that if something is already dead, it can't be hung. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This rate will reach the camp within an hour. So, continue. Let alone kill. Uh... That's quite right. In the biological sense. You never know what you'll face on a mission. But will our knowledge prove sufficient to comprehend what's alien to us? Or will we ever begin to understand it all? We could even accidentally kill it. Yep. Sounds like quite... <laughs> Far-reaching assumption, especially cons This road may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. Back to our conversation, you're a cock. <laughs> right. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> but still, we shouldn't behave recklessly. No, I agree with her 100%. Completely agree. But that's humans for you. They feel like they own the only fucking entire galaxy and every planet in it. And all they're gonna do is fuck it up like they have this one. Ah. 
Ah, we're at the uh, the black plants. The bushes. I mean, it is kind of weird that there isn't is any life. Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh dear. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Nauseous. Suddenly. That's not it. I feel. Oh dear. Darkness. Plans have got me. Uh, Oh dear. But we didn't wake up near the plant, so we must have. I don't know. Hobbled somewhere. Continue our search for Gorski. Okay. Mm. The plot thickens, as they say. Me. Could you not kick me? Are you there? Over. I guess that's a no. Uh, yes, I, I would. Well, I do like this game. I'm back. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. Right. They were ready and they were firmly on life support. You found them in time. How about their reactions? Have they regained consciousness? I mean, maybe one of them said something. Uh, Doubt it. Unfortunately, they're still unresponsive. I'll let you know if anything changes. I'm doing an EEG on them right now. At least they're all back. And I'm happy I went back for the uh, the woman's body. That wouldn't have been right. Um. Oh, there's a rope. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? Because that... I know where Gorski was going. Ooh. I... <sighs> going down after him. Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Grave tapper? Yes. I'm considering that as What's a grave tapper. And what is your opinion? Should I don't know what a grave tapper is. We shouldn't look into her brain. Oh. Oh, is it... In a normal situation, I would say that's. That's, I would say that's wrong, but we need to know what. But yes. The more we know. Yeah. The better chance. The science. Marit would have been happy. I would say it's an invasion of someone's privacy, but we need to know what happened. <sighs> One sec. Oh, I'm at the end of the rope. Isn't that it? Good? No! 
What do you mean? Well, I'm still fucking 15 mile in the air. I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you sway? I can just jump off. Is that safe? No, probably not. A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. So what, you only die once, right? I'm not going to hang around forever. I'm not hanging here forever, if we still haven't come up with anything. There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Astrogator, as much as I love complex analysis, I'm really sick of all this hanging. <laughs> of course. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Okay. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. Fuck it. Right. Let's do Let's it. Give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. One meter forward. Uh. Uh, I can't reach it. A bit closer, please. There. Perfect. You better hold me, fucking Borley, whatever your bloody name is. Ah. Oh. You could say so. <sighs> I felt Sorry. no height. It was a soft landing, though. Oh, are you gone dizzy? I apologise. All in the name of science. Oh dear, I think he's fucked up. You're right. What the fuck is that though? Pardon me. Oh, look at all this! We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got Damn. here. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Ah. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Left or right? And I... Dr. Gorski oh. set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Yeah, but what he did was stupid because it put joking, everyone else at risk. Lost himself. Gorski. He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. But it was stupid. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. 
There's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Oh, it's either through there. Or it's... Yeah, I'm going this way. Decided! Alright. I'll squeeze through the passage. That doesn't look very secure to me. Two more hours. Huh? What? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen. Oh, jeez. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though right. it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Crowther, however, warned that the methane content... I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. I mean, this is very interesting. It's a bit more like laid back, but um, I'm really enjoying it. Yep, wherever I look, there's metal. Ah, I see the probe. Has it found anything? It's not making any measurements at the moment. Oh, why? The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Mm. Oh, is it because of my flight? It's possible, but please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. I'll leave it to him. All right, sir. I see you have it under control. We've got enough things to do. Good luck. Yes, thank you. You needed my help, it's say. Maybe him, he's a man, so he might not. It's a bit like Pando. Who's Pando? Oh dear, what you're talking about, Doctor. A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American Aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest. Uh, Sounds about right. Sounds bizarre. So maybe. Doctor, something has been recorded after all. But there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. Hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Well then, sir. Play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the Doctor. Let's hope so. Gorski to base. I repeat, this is Gorski. No doubt. It's him. Well, let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Fucker. No confirmation again. I report. I've made an amazing discovery. Geometric structures that are thicket of bushy, pointed rods and slats. Mostly iron, but not only. Molybdenum, carbon, tungsten. Altogether similar to a giant integrated circuit. A million swarm of tangled cables. Not a trace of electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. You know, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans, a race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found, ash to a chip glued together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay, moving on. Readings. Well, that's it. 
What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? So far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. No way! Well, I think there might be something to it. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in this discovery, in spite of everything. I can't interact. Acknowledge these missing fucking things. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. No, I don't know. But this is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, I am? who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. No. Oh, I mean, what he's done is totally responsible. I go that way. It's up here. Give you Willie's status. What's new? Well, nothing really. Oh, at least not. There are more traces. This time, handprints and a drop detector. What did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. Well, I think you're an idiot, because I don't think I will. Or at least not in one piece. How did the fucking hell did you get here? would decide to go down this way. Yeah, no, I agree. And yet Gorski... I found something. Again. I'm listening. Uh, more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. Uh, this scene looks disturbingly similar. Mm. Maybe it has an effect on the brain. Like this metal shit. You broke my fucking I neck. Shortcut. On purpose? Well, no. Uh, not really. Gee, that fucking shit's dangerous, you know.
Anything to look at here? No. It's weird how he abandoned his shit. He must be... He must be uh, fucking lost of his senses. That's the only explanation. Finally! I have his position. Uh, not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still yeah. I'm a bit nervous. Shit. I found his backpack. Oh. I don't know what that means, sir. Oh, there he is. I see him. Get through the gap, then. He's lying in a sinkhole. Move. Doctor, answer me, please. Fuck's sake. Almost there. Got him. He's not moving. You actual idiot. If I get him up here, he's gonna get a slap. Dead. Oh no, he's not. He's alive. Very Gorski. good thinking. Gorski, look at me. His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. By my count, it's that stupor again. Just like the others. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. <sighs> okay. Let me just... Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm pulling him. Uh, yeah, you can do. Done. He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? <sighs> the transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I right. retrieve his booster from the backpack? No point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Uh. Preliminary scan of your surroundings. Okay. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The broken guide you. Okay. I'll carry him. It's just. His parameters don't look too good. That's why we must carry them to Look at the size of this man! <clears throat> Jesus! Why didn't you just ask me to carry a fucking elephant? I'm not sure I could carry a full-grown man. No chance. Are you out in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving calls to see them. All gone fucking red. Oh, uh... Now that does a lot fucking... Watch this fucking break. Fucking watch. There it is. Pulse, heart rate, saturation. Almost within the red. Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. What the fuck is that? Everything is shaking. What exactly? <laughs> Fucking hold on. Oh, Bolly. Uh, 
What in the living shite? Well, Jesus shit is the situation. What? What was that? Who the hell am I? <clears throat> oh my god, where the hell am I? Underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Yeah, no shit. Novik. Do you copy? You're underground. No, Please he doesn't copy. In. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone? Please. Okay. Of course, he's fucked. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. Okay, so we're... We're okay for now. We're fine. Tar. I'm going to do a fucking heart pump in. Oh, that was up there, I see. I don't really want to go deeper in underground, but... of water probably unsafe for consumption I'd rather not risk it I shit okay now love let's hope it's not fossil oh I don't like this I want a torch <sighs> slippery terrain Poor visibility. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. Please, I got flat. Oh, come on. You've gotta be kidding me. No, not kidding. Wait, did I walk around in one big fucking circle? Fucking did it all. Deep abyss. Now we're back. I can't. <laughs> oh my I god. Just, um, can't. We're screwed. I'm pretty much fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. That's my considered opinion. Fucked. <laughs> Can you see anything? Novik? If 
the radio is still receiving. Uh, oh, there's hope. I can't be too far underground. I need to act fast. Oh. I hear you. But you don't. Apparently. Oh, bollocks. I think I preferred it the other way round. Yeah. Oh, don't look down there. Okay. Okay. I'm coming to you, Astrogator. Bloody Nora. Ooh, that's a tight hole. Astrogator. Astrogator. Ah, oh, still nothing. Oh, sorry. I used to find all the reporting annoying, but the silence is even worse. Dark thoughts creep in. Dr. Gorski may already be dead. Something attacked me. And it, it could have got to him too. Yeah, I mean, it looked like I it. I hope you're monitoring his vitals, Astrogator. And we'll come back for him. Unless I die here. No, you will not! It'll be a very fucking short game if you do. I think it's his way. No, you're not. You're fine. <laughs> no! Get up! Get up! I've had enough. No, you haven't. Get up! Get up! Just enough. No, get up! Okay, forward. Can do it. Faster. We're racing against time, Yasna. Yes. We're fighting for our lives. Enough of this nonsense. I can't keep fighting. Yes, you can. Your timing is perfect, as usual. Any more advice? Huh, I thought so. You know, I did what I could, but it still wasn't enough. I have the mm. right to finally give up. I don't want to give up. No. No. Not yet. Get up. I will not give up. I'll just... Take a breather. No, you won't, because that's what happens to everybody. Huh? What? Yeah. You dare leave me here. Of course you wouldn't let me die in peace. Huh. 
I can handle. I will not give up. Yes. I did it. I did it, Astrogator. Too bad you can't hear me. What? No, it's not. I don't believe my eyes. No, that's not a skeleton. No. Bones of some prehistoric reptile. No. And coal deposits, I assume. Oh. Finally, we have proof. <laughs> there was life on the surface of Regis Three, millions of years ago. But for some reason, now there's nothing. Not even bacteria or, or viruses. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something forces life into the water. Perhaps preventing it from moving ashore. If so, I think it's still happening today. The question is, have I encountered this thing already? Look at the fucking size of the skeleton. Oh my giddy shit. Oh my god. You never seem to get tired, Novik. But he's not doing all this. So those things we actually call bones, I wonder if they are uh, actually bones. I hear you more and more. Oh, does that mean I'm close? I hope not. Me too. What if something's waiting out there for me? Something that caused my fall. No. Don't hesitate. I will die if I stay here. True. A way out. Astrogator. I'm close. Mom. I was sure he would hear me this time. <coughs> Daylight. No, don't you dare. I'm coming. I'm here. No. No. Don't you fucking dare, you little shit. You leave me behind, you rotten little turd. Yes, sir. I'm getting your SOS. Receiving your phone. <laughs> Astrogator, I... I'm here. Over. Finally! Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir. I've heard you all the way. Yes, sir. Are you saying... What? What is that? Uh, I'm still here, but I don't know how long for. Are you in danger? Oh, good. Affirmative. I say so. Uh, thing what in the living the fucking? Now it's marching on these kind of crab legs. Damn! You must evacuate immediately. Sounds like you know what it is, sir. 
Now, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. You're fucking kidding me, sir. I'll be following it. It's fucking red off. Unfortunately, I'm not. Oh. Any progress? Do you still have a visual on the object? I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, it will have a huge advantage over us. So why would they confront our ship head on? I can see a passage, but it doesn't look very inviting. <sighs> and... oh! Get out! Get up! I can't move. What do you mean? Oh, it's coming at me. Oh, we're dead. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. No, Bolly, don't you dare! No, not Bolly. Oh no, not Bolly. Don't hurt him. No! No! Come in! Just Fuck me Just in the back fucking back. face! I'm getting crowded. This pulse. Please confirm you're there. I'm okay. The probe did something. As if. I don't know. I don't know. I saw the readings, gave a distress signal, and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. <clears throat> I'll check on it. <sighs> I found a box. Also a switch. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. I guess it's busted for good. <clears throat> What the fuck is this? That's right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a field base. Wow. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. me wow it really did almost flatter me probe it oh it distracted the antimats you say that as if it did it on purpose it did how else to explain it coincidence no i don't believe in coincidence don't there's no such thing astrogator yes me neither i don't I don't believe in coincidence, ever. Oh no, poorly. I generally feel, might be stupid, but I generally feel sad. Not much left of it. Poor thing, it missed its life for me. A while ago, so maybe we can save its call. Could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. <sighs> oh, I generally feel sad. Am I? Is wrong with me? Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've, I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not done. Here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm not gonna be able to take that. No, I can. Okay. Hit cool down. Take the car and we can rebuild him. <sighs> well they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. I'll rebuild you! He is to 
get their brain. We'll make you a new body. You know that's just a metaphor. Yeah, complete. Shut up. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Time to get out of here. Well, I wasn't expecting to like this so much. But I'm very intrigued. Oh, not good. You simply don't get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Oh, uh... Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. Oh, jeez. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. You don't have to finish. I understand. You did. You did what you could. No. I did what I thought was right. Come on, Doctor. He didn't die due to lack of oxygen. He bled out. He put himself at risk. Enough! I've heard... I'm sorry, I, I don't feel that sad because he put himself at risk. By he should way, not have kept going. How long have we been out? He's put me at risk and everybody else with his stupidity. For me, it, it felt like eternity. I was beginning to hallucinate from the stress. What is that? Astrogator. I found their vehicle. Get in there isn't it. a living soul here. Are you sure? Please take a look around. It's good. I could have helped him after all. What? What are you talking about? I could have left him that fucking tank. That other one was just around the corner. <sighs> what a cool joke. That's absurd, Doctor. Like no way of heaven. Besides, you harm yourself if you Please, just stop. I know what I did. And I know what the consequences are. There's no one inside either. The equipment looks on damage, though. Get in it. No one's coming out with me. Started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Hey. you know such as the windshields shattering at high voltages doesn't stress me out at all I can barely see where I'm fucking going I remember a mission on E5 at that time oh, was still God, there we go. Later, but the crew was quite similar chemist cyberneticist a doctor uh, engineer and a physicist simple reconnaissance mission but there was a maybe here the rocket. Oh, 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 oh
Oh, I never did pass me test. Actually, I never fucking took it. Oh my I'm not listening to anything he's saying. Oh my shit. Oh my bloody hell. Which way am I going? Oh. That's right. Really hard to tell. Finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. What? I'm running into a cave. The storm has subsided. Formation. Even better. We have to catch a breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, oh. uh Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bigger. Emmets are equipped with the black box. Please find it. Um, righto, righto. Oh. I have the box. Get over there. It's all locked up. Really? Uh, it must have changed the equipment because I have no information about the key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket and plug. Okay. Cable, 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 cable. I think In there? it's something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And presto. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. Yes. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <laughs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I see. Okay, it's in. Oh, I got his heart. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. Or his brain. So, what now? You can finally rest. Oh, thanks. a while to dig through all the records. Take a nap. I guess. Have a wee kip. Fucking earned it, I'd say. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Uh, most probably.
No one is transmitting from the base. On the other channels, all I hear is static. Storm must be causing interference. I'd suggest you lie down. I am doing. The storm's raging. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, need rest. Can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and the encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Bully? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... What? Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Three, two, seven. Oh, the next is... Two, one... Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? No. I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. No. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Okay. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. A little puppy man. Uh, I'm going to leave that there actually. Um, because this video is already quite long. I don't want it to be stupidly long. Already, it's getting there. Um, I'm very impressed with this. I I wasn't expecting to like it so much because it's not normally the kind of game I play. But I am. Um, very invested in the story and I will most definitely be continuing with this. I I had a really good time. I It was a bit slow at first, like it's a slow burn, but I am so invested in her and the story. Very, very good. Well, if you enjoyed this, remember give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Drop!